Hey yo everyone, welcome back to another modded Terraria video. Today, we're checking out a mod that adds in weather to Terraria. What? This ain't 1.4 either. This is various weathers. Now, this mod is made by one of the devs of the Spirit Mod. Look at that, a nice cold breeze kicks in right on time. But yeah, this mod adds in a bunch of various weather events, various weathers, who would have thought? And uh, it adds in, you know, a little bit more than just weather. As you can see here, we got a lot of placeable items here. We got these new jellyfish tanks we got a new chest chairs tables banners for all the enemies lights this block right here makes a weird squishy noise every once in a while you'll probably hear it and there's also this up here which this is less of a decoration more than it is something actually useful atmospheric purifier can be placed cleanses nearby acid rain acid rain that's right there's acid rain in this but before we go over all the weather events we are gonna this is how i spawn them in by the way and i have a special version where i'm allowed to spawn these in not a part of the uh, actual mod so don't be looking for these when you install them on try to summon the weathers but yeah we're gonna be checking out everything else before we check out the weather events just to cover everything else let's go over the weapons this mod adds in first now most of these are drops some i think you can craft but like a good majority of them are drops we're not gonna do anything too crazy when checking them out we're just gonna check them out that's it we're not gonna fight any bosses or anything we're just quick quick look all right so let's check out the hornet look at that beautiful Shoots out a nice little like acid shot. Let's check out the razor eye. The uh, tentabo. Okay, that, that's really cool. The uh, blood skull blade. Also really cool. Shard storm. Okay, okay. So when you shoot this, a bunch of shards come off of it. Frostfall. Fiery frostfall. Netrif staff. This looks really cool. I like this one. The hasty borealis. Nice, nice. It's a very interesting bow. Dude's holding it right to his body. I don't know why. <laughs> the Celestial Conduit. What the heck is this? This is cool. Meteor Shower. Okay. Oh, look at that. Rains Meteors in a shower formation. Who would have thought? Flux Vault Staff. Okay, okay. Fossil Bow. Yes, sir. These shoot, these shoot really big arrows. The Imalgam. I only had one of them, and I only threw one of them. The Aku cod. Who doesn't love shooting eyeballs out of fish? The aberrant grimoire. Grimoire? Aberrant grimoire? This is a really cool name. Uh I don't know if I like the sound it makes. There is also a couple of accessories and a couple of armor pieces, two of them I think to be exact. And I'm not gonna show off all the accessories because we're just gonna go over these really quickly. Boreal Mass, three defense increases maximum minion slots by one, provides a special bonus when worn with Boreal Armor. So this is a really cool mass that you just get from uh, one of the events, weather events. And the Hazmat Headgear, three defense provides immunity to the acid debuff, works in the vanity slot too, which is really cool that it works in the vanity slot. So you can still wear your armor too. But yeah, let's check out what the set bonus is with this uh the boreal mask kind of interested low-key interested so boom what is the set bonus increase minion damage by 11 percent nice that's a nice little addition who doesn't love nice little additions like that i guess i should show you what it looks like too boom i look cool so i'm gonna go down the list of the form page and spawn in the enemies like that the first enemy is the flying vault fish gliding vault fish see i was close for me not knowing exactly i was pretty close look at that gliding vault fish i don't know what the what he does i'm assuming he's just like a flying goldfish just electric damage as you can see that's actually kind of scary electric damage hurts in this game next up the vault voltaic elemental voltaic elemental what do you do bro well maybe i should get out of god mode shoot me hit me oh god see yeah electric damage is terrifying look at my health what the heck next up is the ion courser i don't even know what it looks like on here there it is ion courser which which one's the head this part probably is the head cool cool what's he do he just hits you normally just a worm pretty much okay nice to know moving on from that is the celestial probe oh yeah who doesn't love being probed in terraria yes, this is one of my favorite things don't do it very often in real life but that's why i play video games <laughs> celestial slime that is the next Next one he just i'm assuming just attacks you i don't know he drops me right i'm dying so uh hopefully we don't actually die next up is the panspermic blob i don't think that's how you pronounce this panspermic blob it looks really cool it gives you a little poison debuff interesting get out of here you spermic blob now we're moving on to a bunch of jellyfishes that the mod adds in which is really cool because there's a whole jellyfish weather event that comes in and that's really dope starting with the first one ethereum jellyfish i'm gonna touch him i'm gonna touch him okay he just, he just hurts me i don't know there's two different ones oh whoa whoa, whoa. suffocation 
so he suffocates you after he dies interesting thermal jellyfish run into them see if they hurt us nothing but when we kill them also nothing i swear these guys are supposed to be floating around actually no they're supposed to be in the ocean so maybe i shouldn't explain it yet yeah i'm not gonna explain it yet just not to confuse people i was gonna say something about the weather events and certain things you need to do for them but moving on to the acid rain set of monsters sulfuric nimbus it has two the name is different on the forum page so it's just a nimbus cloud that rains acid he's having some troubles hitting me though i was standing still and he was, he was missing i don't know maybe he got nervous when he saw that i was recording moving on is the nitric horror nitric horror i like this whole acid rain theme it's really cool i always love when uh, terraria mods have their own little theme that they add in this is really cool moving on the acid slime expect them to do the usual you know the slime made of acid what else could they do besides you know poison you while well, shadow dodged it so i guess we'll never know uh moving on this one looks really cool the tenta blob i don't know if it shoots anything shoot me shoot me Shoot me pussy. He looks like a like a floating watermelon with a little hat. I don't know. That's, that might just be me. Ah, what the hell? He shot me after. Look, he's the one that drops creep clusters. So that's what this whole house is made out of. And moving on to the last two, it is the tent tenta nat. Tentanat, and if you want to pronounce the G, tent. Oh my God! If you want to pronounce the G for that enemy, Tenta Gunat. But uh, I don't know who be pronouncing the G. As you can see, he did pretty good damage. And then last but not least, for the acid rain set of monsters, Hazmat Zombie, which is the zombie you can get the uh, hazmat stuff from the helmet this thing right here but yeah that's it for the acid rain let's move on to the next set of monsters so we're moving on to the ash fall set of monsters in the bor 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 boreal aurora boreal aurora, aurora borealis all right or as it's called boreal aurora that's just confusing why you gotta confuse me like that so ash fall enemies we got this one right here ash spawn uh some of these enemies are inspired by uh skyrim dragonborn and morrowind you know whenever you run into these enemies netch which is another skyrim slash Elder Scrolls Online slash Morrowind. I think, I don't know where they appeared first, to be honest. Probably Morrowind. But boom, there's a Netch. Uh, moving on from that, there is the Ash Strider. Not Ash Strider, Ash Strider. And then Spawn Rider. So this guy rides the Strider and he does a lot of damage. <laughs> I think before we move on to the Aurora or the Boreal Aurora enemies, let's do the other two enemies. Some of these enemies don't even have a section on the form. I don't know. Maybe they're to be added. I'm probably not going to check them out if they're not in the form. But Lava lith it sounds like i have a lisp lava lith that's what it's called lava lith that looks pretty cool he kind of drops lava on you tar sap horror i'm assuming does the same exact thing yep and i think that's it in terms of other enemies or all the enemies that have a section on the form but yeah there's obviously a couple of them i don't want to really click on any of them if they're not in the form just to you know not spoil any of them if they're coming for a future update but yeah tiger turn moving back to the aurora boreal the boreal aurora event there's this bird it looks really pretty it looks like a bird out of pokemon there is the veal veil veal veil this thing also looks cool i like the whole theme i like a lot of the themes in this mod like if you have a mod and you got a theme for that mod that's 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 a plus 10 from game raiders moving on to one of the cooler enemies i think this one is a mini boss i'm not actually sure about that no it's not a mini boss but it does have a lot of health but it is one of the cooler ones the boreal stag hurt me oh he's passive until you hit him well i need some hit weak to hit him then throw a soil shocker at him all right let's see him in action damage it's okay damage I expected this guy to kind of be like a mini boss of some sorts. But he doesn't seem too crazy. But yeah, I think that's all the enemies, at least the ones on the forum. Uh, my bad if these guys are actually part of the game. Some of the ones like these crate mimics, the putrid consumer, but they're just not on the uh, forum page. So I'm not sure. I don't want to check them out if they're not in the game yet. We can now finally move on to the weather events. I am ready for this. Are you ready for this? But first, I'm like, game ready to stop with the but first. We have to check these out. I'm sorry. These are important things. These two things right here meteor meteorolo meteorological scanner <laughs> climate surveyor and then the climate codex so that's it climate climate codex uh this right here displays information about ongoing weather events boom place that baby down winds detected and then boom identify special weather events you'll see what those are boom wait you just keep this in your inventory oh you just keep it in your inventory boom it is in my inventory and then this right here the climate codex really good displays information on all the weather events so we're going to use this to go over weather events there is a couple of weather events that i have specific installed in this beta version that i'm using that are not in the game yet but they're gonna be in a future update we're not gonna check those out just because you know they're not out yet i don't want to check them out but i have split the weathers here into normal types of weathers not too crazy and fairly crazy weathers okay so we're gonna check out the normal ones first tranquil winds 
tranquil winds it's just a nice breeze now there is a lot of music added in by this mod and we're gonna have a little listening session towards the end all right but tranquil winds is it even on here it is boom tranquil winds some days it just feels like the world wants to relax during these peaceful days i've observed that no dangerous enemies spawn just small animal like rabbits something that air also causes the surface water around the world to glow and have restorative properties note to self remember to take a refreshing bath after i eat my rabbit stew damn it's kind of it's kind of vicious go vegan am i Right. I just want to say this mod gives me a strong not only 1.4 vibe because of the weather's being added in but it gives me a strong starbound vibe if you guys have played starbound you know that this mod you know or maybe not this mod but this definitely has some starbound vibes starbound has some pretty nice peaceful and nice weather events that happen but let's go on to winds i love the wind it's calm and breezy and rustles through the trees same same honestly you know i'm more of a cold person myself i like it when the weather's cold that does not mean i'm a cold-blooded animal but you know this is my theory on cold it's always easier to battle cold than it is to battle hotness like you could wear a t-shirt when it's hot but it's still gonna be hot when it's cold you can wear like three layers of sweaters and you're gonna be warm it's like come on bro it's easy easier to battle that's why i'm more of a cold person but moving on to the heavy winds bam the winds are heavy i'm assuming unless there's too many weathers out okay too much wind stay indoors or behind some cover because these sharp gusts have been pushing me all over the place all right hold on let me get the winds to actually activate all right i got the heavy winds to spawn in but you know it kind of took me a couple of cosmolite switches because i don't know it's just just not working now but look at this i'm slowly being pushed there's also an electrical storm but uh, we'll go over that one later but yeah this is heavy winds all right so i got the light rain event to work here so it's just it's just rain of a lighter variant who would have thought right insane the rain sometimes slows to an amicable drizzle that's, that's two cool words next to each other amicable and drizzle that's almost as cool as the word as snazzy great for playing outside and lonely reminiscing heavy rain I ain't talking about the game either. Let's see the heavy rain come through. All right, it ain't that crazy. Unless it's going to pick up randomly, rapidly. I don't know. The rain grows torrential and visibility is reduced to near zero. I'd rather stay indoors. Splunking is viable in this rain. The thing is, it's pretty visible. Unless we're just getting lucky right now and it's actually not too heavy. Not too bad, you know. Who doesn't love rain in their games? It's always nice and peaceful. I love rain IRL. Rain IRL is just so peaceful and nice to sleep to. Somebody in the comments is like, gamers, shut the fuck up and review the <laughs> thunderstorm. This one, we just saw a second ago this one is pretty cool i like the i like the lightning and stuff called a thunderstorm shouldn't it be called a lightning storm all right thunderstorm the thunderstorm seemed to occur along with the regular rainstorms from time to time the lightning itself isn't too dangerous note to self don't get hit it seems that lightning electrifies a few monsters causing a land to be slightly more dangerous i'm currently searching for a that's a staff that we had but i've heard the enemy that holds it is really powerful what, what's the name of that staff flux vault staff nice hopefully there's like a lightning rod that's gonna come out in the future much like how don't starve has a lightning rod oh the next one a hurricane sweet oh my god hurricane detected winds detected heavy winds detected oh it's gonna start picking up now feels like i'm doing a weather report hello this is gamers 101 from dick news and we are here reporting in a live hurricane there's a fish walking on his legs he doesn't have legs so that's the weird part hurricane get on the ground as fast as you can i'm not sure shelters will help the rain is a flood and the wind pushes everything items people anything lightning is an extremely frequent or yeah lightning is extremely frequent and very potent not worth exploring during hurricanes Let's see it push some items. Here's an item. Push it. They're not wrong. Look at it. Slowly being pushed. Next up, we are checking out the cold front. It's just a nice little snowy breeze. A less dangerous counterpart to heat waves. Cold fronts occur when a layer of cool air settles on the force of the world. It results in light snowfall and chilly water. Much like hailstorms, I've noticed that enemies from the tundra, prompt the tundra, are likely to appear across the forest during these snowy days. Nice. That's an interesting way to get some snow enemies in forest biome. Moving on from that, the last two of our somewhat tame weather events, hailstorm and a Aurora. let's see the hailstorm i don't know if the hailstorm is gonna work outside of the snow biome all right here we are in a hailstorm little balls of hail fall from the sky and they can hit you and do damage they do pretty weak damage so it's nothing crazy can we see some like fall on the screen yeah there you go look at that but moving on to our last event here let's turn the weather off i can't see anything either so you're not the only one beautiful probably my favorite soundtrack actually there's a lot of good soundtracks in this but this one is just so peaceful and beautiful to listen to let's listen to it for a little bit these 
fucking enemies only me <laughs> but yeah those were most of the tame events now we're gonna go on to the crazier events oh my bad i didn't even check out some of these uh logs in here hailstorm here we go rain occasionally produces large chunks of hail that well hail from the sky this hail is intermixed with snow as well i've noted that some enemies that usually reside in the tundra can be found scattered across the forest as well same thing as the other entry the boreal aurora i was just in the snowy tundra the other night and the sky lit up with the most beautiful aurora i've ever seen after of course multiple nights of observation i've noted that there are multiple vibrant colors of auroras that can appear i've stumbled upon some folklore that tells a mythical stag which appears during such beautiful nights more importantly i've heard of its mask worn by shamans to help them in battle that's sure to fetch a hefty sum i must be quick for it seems auroras dwindle the more dangerous the world becomes interesting so i'm assuming you go into hard mode they barely spawn so we're moving on here to the uh, swarm events now the swarm events what happened is you see a swarm event spawn in and pretty much what it means is that there's just a swarm of a certain monster or not monster mob slash critter going on the jellyfishes are monsters these ones you can find in the ocean i think the firefly ones you just find wherever but yeah firefly swarm there should be a bunch of fireflies everywhere the butterfly swarm same thing there should be a bunch of butterflies that spawn somewhere and last but not least the jellyfish swarm now this one is probably the coolest because it actually adds in stuff you go over here to the ocean. All right, here we are. We got the nice, beautiful, peaceful music playing now. There's jellyfish swarming. I don't see the other jellyfish yet though, but if you couldn't tell already, this is where you're supposed to see the voltaic, the thermal, the etheric slimes. They're all supposed to spawn here. And there's a video, oh, there's one of them. There's a episode that I recorded a part of the Defender series. Check out my second YouTube channel, VOD Raiders 101. We do check out this event. It happens a couple times during the playthrough, but it's a really cool event. I like it a lot. I like these swarm events. Jellyfish swarm, when the oceans contain a surplus of nutrients the jellyfish population skyrockets out of control this only seems to occur at nighttime though must investigate further obviously it's occurring in the daytime but i'm assuming it only spawns at night anyway a snooty fisherman kid told me about the local fauna i can find it seems the nutrients overcharge some jellyfish creating a voltaic thermal and etheric variants more importantly i've been told there are all kinds of rare fishing catches to obtain and i'm sure they all taste delicious mm. and then we got the butterfly swarm large swarms of butterflies usually migrate on warmer days this is a great time to have a sign catch some bait or add some butterflies to your collection and then firefly swarm during cool nights fireflies tend to cluster together and migrate across the world they're also great days catch some fishing bait so i'm assuming at night time that's when all the firefly ones come out but look at this this is beautiful all right moving on to the heat wave let's read about it first let's, let's try and do this in a different order heat wave something has caused the sun's rays to increase in magnitude and the temperature to heighten to 40 degrees celsius i stayed out too long and suffered a terrible heat stroke note to self don't wander in the desert again try to take a nice cool bath in some water and stay indoors also drink a lot of water to combat the confounded heat stroke yes that's how you battle the heat stroke effects is you just drink some water you dip yourself in some cool water stuff like that look at this oh god ew wiggly game raiders 101 nasty yeah it gives you a debuff a lot of these weathers give you debuffs sweltering heat reduces your movement speed perhaps a refreshing drink of water may help so let's take out a bottle of water and see if that works and now we should be able to move normally quench drinking water negates effects of heat stroke it keeps on moving there you go boom bada bing look at this our next event just you know naturally summoned in when i was using the cosmolite to reset the weather tremors and i ain't talking about the mod that shall not be spoken and named but this is tremors the s and if you don't know what tremors are it's just the world will randomly shake and it's really cool so let's read about it while we wait for a shake to happen tremors i was wrong to believe that the tectonic plates of this world were stable occasionally tremors seem to plague the underground getting more intense the deeper one travels these occurrences seem to begin with a rather frightful earthquake upon the surface one of the upsides of tremors is that they kick up gems like rubies and sapphires while mining stone some miners have also told me about the experience of digging up a buried enemy during tremors it was a mixture of fire and rock and seemed to drop a rare item uh, unsure if tremors are more lucrative than dangerous so obviously the best way for us to see these tremors get stronger is to pop a elevator down or an instavator down in, in our case and uh, let's go deep and see you know what kind of beauties we see if you want to know what the instavator from is from fargo's mod check it out i use it like every playthrough because digging your own elevator can uh, get kind of annoying every once in a while we got any tremors we're pretty deep underground i guess we we are in a bigger than usual world though maybe we won't really feel it too much what about down here oh you seen that seen the screen start shaking very interesting i love the tremors oh look at that i don't know what that was was that not a gem usually every time the ground shakes when you're underground there's some gems just popping out everywhere moving on to our next event the meteor shower it does 
is exactly what it says. And it's got a nice little like alien destroy all human vibe music. I like this. Speak about destroy all humans. Remaster coming soon. That's a great game. Meteor shower. It seems that meteors are likely to rain from the sky after the eater of worlds has been defeated. Otherworldly mobs assail the world, especially around crushed meteors. Must investigate further. I've heard tell of some rare staves and that could perhaps drop from these celestial foes. Nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. So next event here is stardust, which literally is just dust of stars. It seems that golden filaments and dust showers from the night sky sometimes. Their purpose and origin is unknown. Either way, there doesn't seem to be much in terms of gear or loot. Very pretty though, which is a lot of this mod. It's just very pretty. But like I said, if you're seeing a lot of events here that we aren't going over, it's because they are not added in yet. And like I said earlier, I don't really want to check them out if they're not added in. I hit every button but the one to close that. Moving on to our last three here. We got the acid rain, ash fall, and ash storm. All probably the coolest events and the most like influential events. And uh, we're about to see them in action. Oh God, there's a blob just showing over there. But yeah, for acid rain, I'm going to break these because uh, we don't want protection from acid rain. Boom. Acid rain. As you can tell, it turns very green and it rains acid. So I'm assuming if I'm not in God mode, maybe it'll affect us. I don't know. What does it do? The acid seeps through your armor, reduces defense, and saps life. So it reduces defense. The music is bumping. Listen to it for a second. All right, that's enough to listen to it. Like I said, we'll probably listen to it towards the end. I don't know, this video might be really long already. This world doesn't seem to be polluted, but acid rain rarely pours from the sky once the land is tainted by dark spirits. The air and water become corrosive and putrid. Be cautious and stay indoors, but all the loot is held by the mutated enemies that emerge from the rain. To venture outside, look for some, uh, I don't know, what is that, a radish? That thrive in this toxic environment. I've been experimenting with some potions that could grant immunity to the acid uh, in order to head outside and search for the fabled gun. What's that gun called? I don't know. But yeah, the last two events. Ashfall, hopefully this green color goes away. As you can see, it's just ash falling from the sky. This is the just regular event. I don't know if it's like the precursor to the ash storm. I don't even know if I use the word precursor right there. Like, does this activate if there's ash fall is like a sign that ash fall is about to activate i don't know the release of light and dark spirits seem to trigger the eruption of a volcano in a far off land the volcano's constant eruptions seem to rain ash from the sky from time to time the ash fall is usually light and harmless okay so no it, i don't think it is a precursor to the ash storm but let's activate the ash storm which has bumping music and this is where all the ash enemies spawn in let's just listen to music real quick bumping what a bumping soundtrack ash storm remember when i said that ash is light and harmless yeah i was wrong rarely ash and dust pour from the sky so much that new creatures emerge under the cover of the ash storm i've only heard of these otherworldly creatures from a traveling wizard strange fellow he was some kind of dark gray elf spouted some unbelievable stuff about how some of the monsters are the ghosts of his ancestors encased in ash oh speak of the devil he then told me about heart stones they look something like this apparently they contain major magic power and can make st stabs like this one he showed me lovely fellow i must drink sake with him sometimes is that how you say that sake yeah the ash storm probably one of the cooler ones right next to the acid rain because the enemies i love the enemy themes how they're you know elder scrolls based enemies some of them and who doesn't love the elder scrolls but yeah i think that is literally every event obviously besides the ones that are not in the game yet uh or not in a public release of the mod yet and i should probably nah, don't change the weather we'll keep the weather like this because music's bumping but yeah this mod is really cool i love it a lot i'm hyped for when a uh, terrain 1.4 adds in weather I'm interested to see what this mod does it's probably gonna take out some of the you know repetitive events but it still adds in a lot and it's one of the first mods to really ever do it you know calamity i had its acid rain and probably thorium had something but this is one of the first mods to do it in a larger scale and add in a bunch of weather events and i like it a lot i'm hoping that this mod slowly becomes more than just weathers and maybe like in the future it's like various weathers with a bunch of content but if you just want various weathers there's a separate single version with just the weathers because this mod i feel like can be built upon a lot with uh, all the weathers and the enemies and stuff i feel like this can be the next spirit mod but done in great ways with weather being the main focus because you know you have we obviously know that the spirit mod is no longer being updated or anything but yeah i love this mod a lot recommend you guys check it out there's a lot more items and stuff that i probably missed out on that i didn't want to show in detail because i want you guys to check it out and make sure to hit the subscribe and like button i think we just hit 72k by the time i'm recording this but like i said i don't know when i'll post this uh because it's gonna take a while to edit and render but yeah i love you guys check out my second youtube channel vod raiders 101 i will be streaming a lot somewhat soon i do have my brother coming over because it's 
it's my mom's birthday so i don't know how much time i'll have to do anything this week but i will see y'all in the next video i love you guys shout out to phoenix blade i love him too for making the spear mod in this mod